Hey guys, today I am getting ready to start packing for Disney. I don't think I'm gonna show you guys like how I pack my suitcase. I think you guys kinda all get the gist of that. This trip, we are using the bag method. You can buy these jumbo storage sliders at Target. I'm sure Walmart has them. I'm sure name brands have them. I buy the Up and Up brand. You can get 12 bags and um, we just put our shirts and bottoms for each kid in the bag as well as a pair of underwear and socks and then they are all set for uh, the outfit that day. I will label it with the day and so what I do when we're in the hotel room, I pull out about two to three days at a time depending on how many I can fit on the coat hangers that they leave in Disney. I don't bring any coat hangers. Although this time we are staying at a moderate and they have a huge closet I may consider that and just hang them all up and then I have an empty suitcase and I put the empty suitcase above the rack in a moderate and what I'll do is as they wear the clothes and they get dirty I will take the shirts and I will fold them and I'll put them in the suitcase dirty and then I will take a Dollar Tree laundry bag we had one from last trip that we didn't use and I will put the bottoms, the socks, the underwear, the pajamas, the swimsuits as we use them and put them in here. And then about halfway through our trip, I go to the on-site laundry area and I do a load of laundry. And then we have the same shorts for the week, the same underwear for the week, the same socks for the week, um, the same pajamas. Because um, typically we, we bring two sets of pajamas, sometimes one and they just wear them for a few days because they take a bath as soon as they get home and put their jammies on and then as soon as they wake up in the morning they get dressed so they're not really in their jammies all that long and I just don't want to pack that many pajamas. So that's how we do that. And then swimsuits, they swim. We hang them up in the closet or in the bathroom uh, to let them dry and then they wear them a few times and then again, like I said. So this time we are arriving on a Sunday afternoon. I'm gonna do laundry on Thursday morning. And then, so we'll have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I'm gonna do Thursday. So then we'll have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to do whenever we get home. So literally dead smack in the middle of the week. It helps us not have to pack a ton of underwear and socks and shorts. And a family of two or three or four, I probably wouldn't do this, but where there's six of us, it's a lot of clothes. And hey, I just saved myself from bringing 24 pairs of bottoms and pajamas and everything like that, so. Um, for me, I don't know when I'm gonna wear what, but I'll just show you guys what I'm wearing this trip. So I'm going to wear my Bippity Boppity Boo. It's like a racer back tank top. It's kind of like a workout tank top and the back is like that. And it just says Bippity Boppity Boo. And this is from Whole Heart Creations. Um, I have this monogram tank top I'll also be wearing. And this one is from Blissfully So. This t-shirt is entirely way too big for me, but I still wear it and it's just a zebra print with an A on it. Um, and this is from Blissfully So, but sometimes it's nice just to have a baggy shirt on. Um, and the days that I wear this, I'll wear like this and some like of those like workout shorts that I have and it's just a nice comfy day. Uh, I have this, I don't know if I'm going to be wearing it, but this is from the Disney store and this is a Ariel shirt. And for the most part, I wear um, either yoga capris or my jean shorts or black shorts. Um, I am a plus size woman and um, I just try to be comfortable. Uh, I do have capris too because I don't like to wear sh tons of shorts. Um, they have to be a certain length for me. I have this shirt from Tora that says to infinity and beyond. And then I have this shirt from Whole Heart Creations, it says my favorite prince is my husband, and my husband has one that says my favorite princess is my wife. And then I think this is going to be my pajama shirt, but I'm bringing it anyways, and this is from Whole Heart Creations. Uh, we had some Tinkerbell shirts at this match, but we don't anymore. And it looks like I'm already onto my husband. So this is my husband's shirt that matches that one, and this one is from Whole Heart Creations. And then we have this one that I bought off Etsy. I do not remember the site, the store. And my husband's calling me. I don't know where my phone is. Um, and then my husband. I try to wash all of our Disney clothes inside out just so if things get on them, they're not going to get ruined. Disney wife, happy life. This is from Etsy. And then, oh, here we go again. 
my husband actually has some shirts up in his closet too and I have a Beauty and the Beast um, like stained glass shirt and then another bell shirt that I'll probably bring too but I don't have those down here and then I have this one that says I'm with Grumpy and it points to my husband this one is me then my husband has this one that says I am with my crazy Disney wife and then my husband has this one that says PPA and this is from Whole Heart Creations and on the back it says Princess Protection Agency. And I'm pretty positive that Whole Heart Creations would make all these for me if I needed her to, but sometimes I'm just kind of in a rush and just grab it real quick from Etsy. Uh, this is from Whole Heart Creations. This is from Whole Heart Creations. This is for Jeff. Uh, this is from Resale, I think. And then I bought these patches, as you can see, they're kind of starting to come off, but these are for the boys. They have some Safari Mickey shirts. I just go to Walmart, buy a Walmart shirt. I bought the patches from We Love Disney. We, W-E, love, L-U-V, Disney, D-I-Z-N-E. And you can iron them on. So I have two of those for the boys. The girls have these shirts that we bought on clearance from Target for like $2.68 a while back. And Ellie wore this shirt to Disney, but Aubrey did not last time. And then I have... This dress that Blissfully So made me. It's just a Walmart dress with the little Ariel applique. Because I got, no, I got this one on um, a resale place. And then she made me this dress for Aubrey with the same Ariel on a Disney, or on a Walmart dress. And then Casey has this shirt that says Disney Lock Up Your Princesses. Um, and then I still need to get something for Trevor this day. I'm just not sure what, or I just may let him wear just like a plain polo. Um, if you order a patch from We Love Disney, this is what they look like. And you just iron it on and she gives you instructions on how to do it. Um, so around Valentine's Day, I found these shirts at Disney and I grabbed them for the girls. So these are regularly $8.99 and I got them 70% off. And they're just cute cupcakes with Tsum Tsums in them. And like... Yeah, they have a few bows here that like are actual bows. So we got those for the girls. I figured for the price, it's like, just grab it while you can. And they always have shirts. Like right now they have really cute 4th of July ones. We bought these for the boys from the Disney store when they were BOGO 50% off or BOGO for a dollar or something like that. And they're just super cute. Cause I have a four, seven, nine and 10, uh, 12 year old. And then my mom got these shirts for the girls last summer from Target and they're like a Disney 4th of July and we're going to be at Disney for 4th of July. So I love those. And I just, I totally forgot to grab them. I just bought some Disney Mickey shirts for the boys. I'll try to insert a picture here. Um, but yeah, I just bought those and that's what they're gonna wear with that. Cause I kind of like to have my kids like kind of similar colors at least. Um, both of my boys bought these shirts last time we were at Disney. I conquered Everest. And so they're gonna wear these one of the days that we go to Animal Kingdom. Um, Trevor has this shirt. It's just a Nike shirt that we got at Kohl's and it says Beast. And then Casey has this one that we bought at Disney and I got it for 20% off because I had my pass holder discount and it's Gaston. And then on the back, it has his boat and arrow. And I love that. I love, um, I loved Gaston in the new movie that's out. It's very, I really liked that. I really liked him. Um, and then this is Aubrey's, um, bell shirt and I got that resale and then this one, I just bought a patch and I put it on a Walmart shirt. And so like, I'll go over and iron with these real quick right before we leave. Um, this is from Kohl's for Trevor, just kind of like a men's kind of more, you know, less kitty type shirt. And then I got this from an online resale. It's an Alice shirt. And then this is when we're going to Epcot. We got Casey on the resell this um, Anger shirt. And the beauty of all these shirts are I'm often reselling on the Disney upscale boutique when we grow out of things or whatever and we're not saving them for the big kids. And I end up pretty much making close to my money back. I'd say on average I probably spend about $3 for a shirt when all is said and done. Again, from that same thing, I got this little dress for Ellie. And it's got all the inside out characters. And one day we're going to see like 
all the people across from Bay Max and Joy and Madness, Joy and Madness, Joy and Sadness, and then I think we'll run over there and see them real quick. Um, I bought this little set for Ellie from the resale. It's just these shorts. You've seen it in like all my pictures. It's one of my favorite outfits that she goes in. And then it's Dumbo. And then we have Timothy. Yes, that's his name. There. And then the same day, Trevor will wear his new Oswald shirt he got last trip. Because his um, Oswald that he always wears, he actually outgrew between last trip and this one. So I had to put it up for sale. And then Aubrey has his Forever Young shirt. And I bought this one in the Alice shirt. And they came with these shorts to match. And I mean, nothing against them. But I just, I don't want my nine-year-old daughter wearing them. I just think that like cut up and like super short like that. It's just not something I want her in yet. I'm sure there'll be a time where she's going to be wearing that, but for now, I just want to kind of keep her young. <laughs> and then I, um, Casey has this Buzz Lightyear shirt to wear. And then last trip, right before we went, we found these shirts that say Best Day Ever. And um, these were from Target, and they were like two or three bucks. And then Whole Heart Creations is making me the girls a shirt that says Best Day Ever. She's also making me a stitch shirt for Trevor because I have all these stitch clothes for the other kids. So we have this shirt from the Disney store for Casey and he wore it last trip and it's super cute on him. It's like a really good color for him. And then we have these shorts for Ellie. So I'm just going to try to get her like a red tank top or something like that. Aubrey has this stitch shirt because she loves stitch and she just has to wear a tank top under this one because it's kind of see-through. But that's all the clothes we have. Um, Whole Heart Creations is also making me a um, Moana shirt for all the kids. She's making me a tangled um tank top that I found I wanted her to design for me and I think that's everything um if we have uh too little for Jeff and I we'll just wear plain shirts because some of these shirts I won't like the way that they fit or whatever and I'll just wear like a plain one that I have or in all honesty tank tops because it's going to be so dang hot when we're there um so I just put all the clothes in the um laundry basket thing and um the pins in here and if I'm gonna do the coat hangers I'll put those in here too and it's just all in a bin ready to go and I in all honesty what I think I'm going to do is bag them up leave them in this container it's just like a, you know one of these and have this be the kids clothes you know what I mean? Um, I'll have a bag for their pajamas, a bag for their swimsuits, a bag for extra underwear and stuff. And I may just pack that like that because that'll be perfect to put on the bottom and things can get stacked up on it. I can even put this on top of my cooler. And like, I know that I'm like utilizing space. Um, as for other stuff, so we have this autograph book that we brought last time. And literally we have Moana, Elena, and Cinderella that signed it. So this is going to be our autograph book. I was going to go buy a new one, but our kids are getting older. There's 11 pages still left in here that they could, you know, get signed. So I think this is going to just be our autograph book. They're getting older. They don't really like to see the characters as much. And if they really want more signatures i can pull out one of our other books because i bet one of our other books has them because we have all these autograph books as well um but i think that 11 will probably be enough like if we see joy and sadness we'll have them sign on the same piece of paper because this goes with a picture um and you know we don't always have to have their signature either so um that's what we're doing for an autograph book and then last time I filled up all these penny presses and I mean they are like we have quite a few pennies I'll empty one of these out for you guys but it's just these things I made from our first trip and I mean we have like quarters and quarters and quarters we have tons um so I'm gonna go through these and I think I'm gonna fill up um all so we we should have four of them which we typically just bring one of these into the park. And so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have two completely filled and I'm going to have one that has like um, maybe six 
sets to do and then each day everyone can do one or two pennies um i don't think we need this many pennies i mean we have all these are getting close to being filled all these are filled and i have more on my feet so i'm trying to go through and see what we have what we don't have and match them up so i don't think i need all these pennies because i do have one more of these somewhere else too which i don't know where it is but so i'm not going to bring all those i think i'm just going to bring two of them chocked full and then go from there so i have I have all the kids lanyards and we have like nine, 15, 19. We have 27 pins right now that they can all pin trade. I think that's enough. Um, that gives them all what, like six ish. You know, someone has five or something. Yeah, someone has six and the rest have seven. Quick math, could be wrong. Um, so I think that's gonna be enough for them. You know, they can really like basically trade a pin a day or uh, whatever. So typically what we do is one kid will wear their lanyard that day. And if the kids see a pin, they all know how many pins that they have to trade and they can decide what they wanna do where they all kind of collect things now. They collect series, I collect series. So. I don't think I'm gonna buy any more, and if I do, I can just go and get them from like, um, you know, like in the pen trading stores, how they have those like cheap little like 2.95 mystery packs or whatever. So I typically like to have a big bag like this. Like, actually, you can see exactly how I do it. See how that bag is labeled? That's how I do it. But I typically like to have a big bag like this, and I put in all the uh, pen lanyards. And I've tried to put all the pins on their lanyard so that I know that, okay, you know, this is set. It's one less thing I have to worry about. Because in all honesty, I mean, I'm a mom of four kids. My husband is like another child trying to get him up and out the door on vacation some days. And I have to really be like organized and together so that, you know, I can like make sure that everything gets done the way it needs to get done and everyone has what they need or whatever so um i really try to make sure that everything is done so i can just tell one of my kids or my husband grab this grab that and they can just grab it and i can tell them it's in the bag with this and this i we've gone to disney often which i'm not bragging about but we have so we have a system that kind of works for us that we know you know how to make it work and so for the most part, our park bag stays kind of the same, but like, so we'll get in and we'll take out Casey's lanyard and swap it for Aubrey's lanyard. And at some point in time over that next day or so, I'll see the lanyard and know, okay, I gotta take off, you know, whatever pins we need to trade, or sometimes we'll just end up leaving, like trading all the pins on one lanyard and just throwing it in our suitcase and going, okay, that lanyard's done. So right now I have all those in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put Trevor and Aubrey's pressed penny things in here. And then um, I will, see, I don't know if I should bring two or three. I mean, that was a lot of pennies. But if you figure every time we go, we typically have everyone wanting to do at least one. There's three right there. If they each did one a day, Yeah, I think we'll be good with two. So I'm going to put just the change in this bag and then I can bring it upstairs. And then this will be the one that we bring into the parks. Um, so we have our even our Sharpie on our autograph book, which I know the, the characters don't like, but such is life. I'm going through this because I really want to bring these in with us to know what we have. And in all honesty, I'm probably just gonna buy another one of these. This was fairly affordable. Um, but I'm trying to like organize them by um, the type that they are. Um, so we have by like either uh, dated and then we have hotels and then rides and then characters. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do with that. So these will go in here too, but I'm working on these right now. Um, and then I also grab our magic band. So we have special magic bands that we made. Um, I will also pack like when our magic bands come in on these little things, 
I'll also pack those ones. I inactivate every other magic band on our account because we have had many, many, many issues with magic bands. Um, so I don't like to carry a ton. So I think that's everything I will need for this bag. I will also do a similar bag with all my pen stuff. So I'll put these things that we got many years ago that like light up. It makes it really nice to see your kids because I can always tell mine, like who mine are. And then I will put like, because I just bought some glow stuff for our stroller and I have glow stuff for the kids. So I'll make like a glow bag in one of these Ziploc bags. And then we have like our, um, all of our um, ears and all that stuff will be in like a cloth bag, like, you know, like a reusable bag like this so that they don't get like all smushed and ruined and destroyed. Um, and then I also do a bag of like an extra change of clothes, socks, underwear, everything anyone would need. I also like to have, I mean, this isn't it, but I like to have a little tiny spray sunscreen um, and then a very small first aid kit of just basically some band-aids, medicine, um, and like wipes of some sort to have in here in case god forbid i miss those things because those are the things that like we cannot live without and i always like to have that and i just honestly i take it and i throw it in the bottom of our stroller and i know that okay i'm all set in that aspect so that's kind of what i'm doing when i first start packing is just trying to slowly make these bags together so that i can just kind of throw them in the duffel bag in the end and get them ready um to go 